I'll probably, I'll probably try next tomorrow. I spoke with the pastor. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I'll get back to you. Uh, yes, I'll get back to you. Thank you. Who are you and what are you doing near my car? We're distracting him through your prayers. We're praying for him. He is, he is getting on my way. Uh, whoever you are, can you speak to me plainly? Who are you talking about? I'm covered in the blood of the Lamb. I come against you in the name of Jesus. I don't have anything to do with you. We do not belong together. I am the son of the light. And light and darkness have nothing in common. I am talking about the king. We distracted him through your prayers. We pray for him. Please, it is getting on my way. Jesus. against me, they shall stumble and fail. They shall stumble and fail. They shall stumble and fail. In the name of Jesus Christ. Malika Saint the Bosala. Hallelujah. When a man has an amazing woman like you beside him, he has no choice but to sleep well. <laughs> <laughs> How was your night? Mm. I think I will have to repeat the same thing that you've just said. Hmm? <laughs> when a woman has a caliber of man like you, besides that, she will also sleep very well. Mm. So I did. <laughs> anyway, uh, that reminds me. I slept worried last night. How come you stayed up so late? Huh? Is it necessary? My little wife used to stay up and work so late. I tried to stop her, but I couldn't. I don't want you to do the same. I know that my friend is happy with me, wherever she is. Mm. She knows that I will do everything possible to make her happy. <laughs> and that includes keeping you warm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you are a blessing to me. Oh. My happiness. Oh. I will surely do and give everything to ensure that you stay happy yourself. <laughs> it's getting better by the day. <laughs> you, know, you are king now. And you know how important it is for a king to have a queen by his side. Prime Minister, you know I lost my wife not too long ago. So what are you saying? That she should be replaced immediately. I don't 
understand this delay. Your Majesty, you are king. So, I am king, yes. A new king. The very first king of Obuduku Autonomous Community. Mm -hmm. Our standards are not like the standards of those kings out there. We must not do things just because others are doing them. Listen, I am a military officer and I do not play to the gallery. We don't have to do what others are doing. Prime Minister, don't look at me that way as if you don't understand what I'm saying. I understand exactly what you are saying, Majesty. But I just need to make you understand. It seems as if you are still living in the past. You are no longer that army general that we used to have in the world. No. You are now the king of this kingdom. Your Majesty, a king is a king. Whether he is a king in Oguruku, in Enugufu, in Agufu, in Enugufu, in Omana, anywhere a king is a king. You forgot to add one thing. That once a general, always a general. I know, Your Majesty. But try to remember. You came out to lead this kingdom. And you won that election in that last line election. You, you have to... You have to show good example to other kings that will likely come after you. That's what I'm saying. So, Prime Minister, if I understand you very well, what good example is it that I am not showing to others by not replacing my late wife with another woman immediately? Because you are a king. Oh, come on, Prime Minister. You should know better than that. You and I rule over this kingdom. And like you said, I'm the very first king of Ubuduku community. We should be thinking of how to achieve the aims of this new system of leadership instead of discussing women. We are on that issue of discussing women, Your Majesty. There is something that the others don't know. About. I know myself. Yeah. Your Majesty, you are already harboring a woman in this palace and I am after. What this document will do for me I know that it will automatically change my life it will make me richer by billions but what would my lady think of me if I do this your highness such an important document cannot prove means I'm flying from the palace I've inquired from everyone General Johnson, I am talking about a confidential document that I left in my inner room. Not outside, my inner room. In that case, that document should be somewhere in the inner room. Ah. Yes, we stand up. But we have searched virtually everywhere. It's not here. I do not see any reason why anyone would want to kill himself or herself over a piece of paper. It's not a matter of life or death. Johnson. Johnson. That document is the document that gives me access to my GOE pension in the UK. That document is what? Billions of Naira. Oh, now you see the picture. Why it seems like I want to kill myself about it. And now, I have the same document. What more? I know what to do with it. To make myself richer. Selena, our lady never asked me to talk to you. Remember you were at my office the other day? And ever since, I've been so restless on your account. I've been worried sick about you. I don't get you. I don't want you to get into troubles. I never planned to. So what's your plan? Well, to get my glory back. 
even though anybody in my shoe would do exactly that. Mr. Selena, even though I hate to hear you say that about yourself, that you've lost your glory, I ask you, how do you intend to get it back? Well, just know that I will get it back. And soon. Is that why I'm here? Miss Alina, I thought coming to this underground bar would have helped to ease you up. But I guess it was a huge mistake. Wow! Thanks! But no thanks for wasting my two good hearts. But this is a little bit confusing to me. How confusing is it? Oh lady, we are talking about billions here. You and I know what such amount will do in our lives. Us. What do you mean us? You and I. We can't be going to the king, your father, for every little thing. We can't be doing that. What about the sisterhood? Should we then forget our mission? I don't know about you, but I cannot wait to get this mission over and done with. Do not complicate issues for us. You are right. Ahana is one reason why we should be done fast. I'm glad you noticed. He is becoming more skeptical by the day. And that is dangerous. You're right. Understand that you were created not to just exist. You were created for a purpose. There is a reason why God created you. There is a reason why God chose you. And you must, as a Christian, identify with that purpose. Let me read 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9 for you. 1 Peter 2, 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Praise the Lord. You need to understand that you are a chosen generation. You are a special species in Christ. So it doesn't matter what is happening around you. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. Your background does not have anything to do with your destiny. There is a reason why God chose you. You need to understand and identify with that purpose. I've never seen a king as free as you are. Watching television at this time of the day. Ah, well, that's why they call me a king of one kind. A very different one. Come on, come and sit with me. Let's listen to Reverend Okuchuku together. Why do you like wasting your time watching me? Oh, have you ever seen me listen to any of these new generation preachers? <laughs> so what is different about him? I don't want you to get yourself involved in this game. A retired senior military officer, Tom King, a man that has seen it all, shouldn't be reminded that all these ministries are businesses. <laughs> huh? You may be right, my dear, 
but this one speaks directly to the soul. He's different. And he just doesn't talk. He ministers. And I can make bold to say that he ministers life. And we all need life. Darling, why do I have this persistent God feeling that you don't trust me? Because you don't watch Reverend Okuchuku's messages. Come on, darling. <laughs> Not that. Do you trust me? Can you trust me with your life? <laughs> Why do you ask such a question? You practically live with me in this house. I don't have any maids that are running around and running around for me. You make my meals. How else would I show you that I trust and love you, even with my life? Is this the document you were looking for? I found it. Where did you get this? Mm. How did you do it? Do you know what you have done? Mm -hmm. You had just saved this man from hypertension that would have killed him. One for you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about it. Why do you hate her so much? I don't hate her. Yes, you do. I do not. You do? Why are you putting it on me as if we are not sure? Because why are you obvious? You say you don't hate her, but your attitude says otherwise. You hate her. We all know you do. Dad is worried about it and you know that too. Princess Oledo, you are deviating from the point. My point is this. What is her mission in our house? What is that supposed to mean? She's a friend of the family. Oh, yeah. A friend of the family? Yeah. Now, does that give her the right to start sleeping with dad the moment mom died? Dad is in complaining. And you shouldn't too. Dad's life changed the moment he became the king of Obodogo Kingdom. Princess Oledo, you're still not making sense. You're deviating from the point. Why is she all over dad? That's what I want to know. Dad is required to take in a wife now that he's king. He personally told me that the Prime Minister is breathing down his neck for it. Now, supposing he's to yield to the pressure, would you rather he marries a total stranger? Oh yeah, so you all have this well planned out. So she's hovering around that so dad can make her his second wife, right? The second? Second wife? How can she be a second wife when our mom is dead? Hmm? You need to grow some brains. I have noticed the new clothes you have passed through, and it is giving me concern. I had to see one of my own grow cold towards the affairs of this sacred body. You will talk to me, won't you? My lady, today I was initiated into this sacred order to serve you. I was promised continuous promotion 
you have three million naira at your disposal at the end of every month. Money is not everything, my lady. My honor. My honor is more important to me. My lady, I feel cheated. The sisters that came after me have better honor than I do. Why? It is time to make a retreat. Correct all that you're not doing now. Because I give my honor according to the revenue that my subjects bring. But it is obvious that everyone is looking for me. If it you be me, you get a tune the Madonna. Deep secrets. If it me let me, you get a tune the Madonna. Very deep, very deep, very deep. If it me let me, you get a tune the Madonna. Joy on Claire's face simply means no one. And as for that, I can see it's over the moon. <laughs> you can see that in my children. You know that document I lost? The one that almost gave me a heart attack? Yes, yes, the document for GOA pension. Yes, Claire found it today. No. Really? Yes, trust me. Oh, now you see why I'm <laughs> over the moon. <laughs> this is this is this is absolutely fantastic news. Well done, Claire. Well done. Come on, princess. We're in this together. It's okay. I know, right? Sorry, I, I don't get it. Am I the only one here who does not understand what is going on? You mean Claire found the documents and brought them back? Mm-hmm. You just no. have that. No. She's not a kind of woman. The Claire I know will disappear with the documents. I won't say that it's all good. Beautiful nonsense. Congrats, Dad. As for you, Claire, sorry for your loss because I know you will definitely regret your action. I have dirty on this upstairs to wash. It's better than this. Claire, document, story, blah, 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 blah. Beautiful nonsense. Whose son is he? Because it's certainly not mine. Father. That guy that just left is the prince of Obodoku Kingdom. And if royalty is what I know it to be, he stands a chance to be the next king of Obodoku after his father is gone. Mm -hmm. Never. Not in Obodoku. <laughs> Never. Royalty in Obodoku has been reduced to elections. And nobody's going to vote for it. Not his type, anyway. <laughs> well then, looks to me like somebody is trying to lure me into kingdom politics. But guess what? I'm not here for it. No, I'm not. So, how about we discuss something else? Something more refreshing. Listen, I don't want to use the word hate. But trust me, I dislike you. You disgust me. I don't like you one bit. Can't you understand? Why do you always talk to me as if I'm a stranger in this family? Of course you are. You're a stranger and to cry it all, you bite into my room without my consent. I'm a full grown man. I might be doing some private stuff. Private stuff? Like stroking your four inches. Uh... <laughs> Listen, don't tell me you've been looking at me in a funny way. Oh, come on, stop it. Don't have some stupid thoughts about me. You know I'm not like that. In fact, you know I'm more than that. I am part of this family. 
and grow up and cut down on this hatred. Listen, you are not part of this family. As far as I'm concerned, you are nothing but a gold digger who is sucking my father dry. I hate you for that. Period. Anna, time will come when you will realize that I mean so much to this family and I love this family. Then you will look for a way to apologize to me. But you will lack words. Onyama see why. Leave my room. I hate you. I hate everything about you. I, I hate you. It looks so simple. It looks so ordinary. I see great courts from where women rule the world. It is deep, deeper than the eyes of men. They call it the deep secret house. So let me worry about that. Okay. Where are you taking me to? To the slaughter room. Come. Oh, really? You can't wait to the slaughter. Hi. <laughs> See that? That was hot. I mean, I know you're hot stuff yourself, but. You, you are a woman killer. Whew. Well, I guess that's what happens when you make out with a woman you love. Mm hmm Yet you keep resisting her. You keep making her beg for it. Why do you do that though? Baby. Yeah. We do this almost every other day. So? you have a problem with that? No. No, I thought so. <clears throat> Can we talk about something else? Please? Like what? What kind of thing would you rather talk about? I, mean, um. I know what we can talk about though. See my back? My back kind of itches from behind so you might want to scratch that for me. It's, it's right here. This one, come on, scratch. You said you wish to marry her. But you've not thought it wise to bring her to church. Oh, Reverend, actually, that is why I'm here. I, I know I'm not supposed to bring her just to the church, but also to you. And, um, what is stopping you? Reverend, you see, I have my reservations about her, especially about her religious relations. Is she a Christian? I mean, is she a believer? She said she is. She said she is, or you know she is. Ah, Reverend, that is why I said I have my suspicions about her. Especially her religious orientations. She's hardly willing to discuss her faith, that's just the truth. Oh, I see. So, for how long have you been seeing her? Uh, let's see, four months or thereabouts. Four months. Four months. Yes. This month, your faith and commitment is beginning to be shaky. I know you must have noticed that too. Why are you slacking? Remember, the truth, the truth is that I've, I've noticed that too. You know, I find it very difficult to pray most times. And I, this time around, I, I see myself as if I am not getting connected to God. I don't know how to explain it. I see. Well, if you are able to come together with her to see me, 
dies if you strongly believe that the relationship is what you want for yourself. Thank you very much, Shabani. You're welcome. I'll be just dancing. Um, this one. You must do something about your spiritual life immediately. I hope you understand. God bless you. Any covenant I give unto you, that you must love one another as I have loved you. That you also love one another. He's trying to implore us here to love. But there is no love without giving. There is no love without sacrifice. Jacob so loved his son Joseph that he gave him coat of many colors. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus so loved the Christ. There must be a price to pay if you say you love someone. If you claim you love God, you must give your life to Jesus. Because any man living without Christ is living at the mercy of the evil one. Give your life to Jesus. That is what I'm preaching to you. Give your life to God. If you give your life to Jesus, you are satisfied to live as a human. Because life without Christ is heresy. Life without Christ is disaster. Give your life to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus. The best thing that can happen to you is to live a Christ-like life. A life full of Christ. Praise the Lord. I hope you've been blessed with this broadcast. Till I come your way this time next week. I remain your reverend, Okuchuku. God bless you. I pray for you. The good Lord will remain with you. Good day, Dad. Oh, I'm, how are you? I'm fine. Are you home alone? Um, I am, but Claire is upstairs preparing to go to the orphanage. Beautiful nonsense. That, honestly speaking, I can't wait for us to start living like one big royal family. When we shall have beautiful maidens to keep us company, especially when your <coughs> Lady B is not available. What is up with you? Why would you talk about Claire like that? Come on. Why you? Don't do that. Come on, Dad. Among 15 men who contested for the autonomous king of Obodoku, you got it. That simply means you are smart. Why have you failed to understand that Claire is here to suck you dry? She's here to take, 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 take uh, all the men of orphanage. So, why? What is wrong with you? What's wrong with your hand? You stand here and castigate the orphanage just before me, the same orphanage that your mother dedicated all her life to. You're supposed to be defending the orphanage and not castigating it. But it's just like a family cause. Another beautiful nonsense. Claire is now considered as family, right? Now considered as family. Um, are you ready to go to the foundation? Yes, darling. I'm already running late. I hope you remember the request I made last night. Oh, I'll get to the check. There he goes again. Another beautiful nonsense. It's always a case of someone writing checks and the other one cashing them. The political concept of change has grounded our economy into recession. Why are we not feeling it in this house? Why? I 
Another beautiful nonsense. <laughs> Having four inch penis is still growing up. All right. I bet you will still be around when it becomes 14 inches. Yes. Listen, Clay is a very, very desperate woman. And the annoying part of this is that no one sees her that way. Everybody keeps pampering her and treating her like she's the best thing that happens after Christmas. <laughs> Don't worry, baby. What has she done to this time around, huh? From the way she's going with my father, I might end up having only a cushion in my father's wheel. <laughs> How would you say things like that? Mm, I see that someone is concerned about losing out to the woman in his father's eyes. Come on, are you jealous? I'm not jealous, I'm just what? being realistic, okay? She's evil, but everybody sees her as a wonderful person. How can you say things like that? Baby, you don't have to, okay? See, you don't have to worry about non-issues. Killer is not your enemy. And the king loves you convincingly. So there's no way king is going to give something that belongs to you to another. It's not possible. Why am I even discussing this with you? You're just a woman and you have fish bread. Just massage me. You think so? Just massage me because no matter how I try to explain, you'll never understand. Of course I understand. Massage me. You want my kind of a wink, you know? What are you saying? Baby, just calm down, okay? Calm down and understand me. Of course I understand you. In fact, I understand you perfectly. You have a problem with my sexual orientation. No. No, I don't. Listen, I am a man who loves you and I will do anything to keep you happy. Okay, all I'm saying is that it's affecting my spiritual life and I just want us to, to slow down a little <laughs> bit, please. Your spiritual life? Which one? You want to stab me of sex? No. Then why are you my boyfriend? I would do no such thing. No. Baby, see, I am not just your boyfriend. I am not. I'm a man who loves you and I'm ready to love you forever. You know it. Yes, man. Where is this coming from? I mean, you never had any problem with my sexual life. Our sexual relationship was fine. Are you seeing somebody else? No. No, no, no. I am not seeing anybody. Why would I do a thing like that? Come on! Well, surely you can do better than that. Baby. Hope in this man. Mother, why put all your hope in human? Hmm? Perfect, I know. I know that he promised to do this. How do we raise enough funds within one week to do this? Hmm. You see, 
the good Lord did not make a mistake when he said we should not worry about anything. Instead, in all things, we should give him thanks. In every situation, we should give him thanks. That is what I always preach. I know. I know that, Reverend. I do believe in miracles and all that, but are you aware an invitation has been sent out? Posters, flyers to people everywhere and people from all over the states are coming? Are you aware of that? Well, um, the church can handle the conference because um, we are two million naira richer. Two million naira richer? Mm -hmm. I mean, how? I mean, from where? Well, um, the donor that refused to max himself did it again yesterday. He deposited two million naira into our account. <laughs> You just wait a minute. You are not serious, aren't you? I'm is it, serious. Is it the same person that goes by the name the king? Yes, exactly. I remember the dream I had. And I know deeply in my heart that this secret donor, the king, is someone the church must protect, even to the point of shedding blood. We must always pray for him. admiring this car you are supposed to be criticizing this car why would dad spend such amount of money just to buy clear car why this right here is a gift from dad to Claire for returning the documents and dad has promised to buy me mine too that's my point dad promised you a car right mm -hmm. so why didn't he buy both at the same time why You really should stop it. What's wrong with you? Stop this silliness. Are you getting more foolish by the day? All this nonsense antagonism you have going on for Claire is beginning to piss me the hell off. I'm not finding it funny. Daddy is not me. That is Claire. Because you both are under her spell. Open your eyes. You both are under her spell. Why would that spend such amount of money in buying her a new car just because she, she returned the, the documents? Was she supposed to run away with, with it before? Huh? Listen, I hate Claire. I hate everything about her. She should leave this house. <laughs> Newsflash. She's not going anywhere. Oh, and by the way, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Could you? Listen, this is not a kitchen. This is my father's house. Here must leave. Why would that spend such a lot of money in my house? You never thought you would find yourself here. Exactly. Why would someone wake me up from my beautiful sleep and bring me out here for no just cause? Is it a gown party? What is happening? Uh -huh, will you shut no, up? you shut up and listen. I should be the one talking here. What am I doing here? I will have no one stand in the way of my mission. Your constant antagonism towards Claire is slowing down things for us. We only work in an atmosphere. Oledo. She just took me on a ride to our mother. She was very careless. She messed up and deserved nothing but death. But then, she and Claire came to me with their plans. Wait a minute. Is this a secret cult or something? If yes, how is my father involved? Oledo, are you part of this nonsense? Claire is sucking the king dry. Oh, you shut up! Your mother did not accomplish her mission in that house. Claire is here to make sure of that. So you and your sister will give her all the help she needs. Am I understood? No, I'm lost. What are you talking about? The mission is everything about the orphanage. The king must will all he has to me through the orphanage. He becoming king is a problem to us. We never saw it coming. 
So we must accomplish this mission before he becomes very committed to the kingship. So what happens to me? What happens to his children? Why would he will everything to you? Why? Ahana, you had a choice to either cooperate or not. But from now on, I have made my own choice. You shall quit fighting Claire, but instead be loyal to her cause. Holy Are you part of this? Sleep well. What a horrible dream. Are you alright? I'm trying to be as so clear you and I. We were in a. I don't even know how to explain this. In a strange place. Dreams for the brainless, I suppose. I guess so too. It was really senseless. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I came to tell you that we're preparing to leave for the orphanage. And I was hoping today might be a good day for you to come along. Making sense, I need to. At least let me see how far that has gone with the orphanage thing. I'm refreshing up. Ooh, here we go. Now the journey will get even smoother. Thank you, my lady. Thank you for the secret initiation into the deep secrets. Deep secrets. Very deep, very deep secrets. She, she wouldn't take my calls. Okay, the last time I was at, at your place, you witnessed what happened. It happened in, before you. You saw everything. This one, you don't understand. That you met my sister through me. Wasn't here, she always do this middleman thing each time you guys quarrel. I know my sis, she's a hard nut. Once she's done with you, she's done with you. And I'm sure you pissed her off, right? And uh, these things are completely unavoidable. You can't avoid it. So what do you want me to do? Do it on your behalf. You don't. You don't realize how much I love all they do. Do you? You don't. All right. Never mind. I will do something about it, okay? Let's relax, let's drink. Bad man, bad girl, who is there? I'm here. Excuse me, sir. You are embarrassing me with that look. Yes, I'm looking at you because all I see is frustration and abject poverty. Why would they only get like you walking here? How many problems I guess? How long have you been walking here? I started yesterday, but I'm still on probation. I'm still on probation. No worry, I'll talk to you in the I'll personally increase your salary. We're going this long, okay? Meanwhile, get two bottles of energy first. Okay. Are you embarrassing the girl? What was that for? No, I just told her the truth. Can't you see frustration and poverty written all over her face? Did she tell you she needs some help? Listen, call it spade a spade. And why are you mocking at me like this? Anna, um, this is the first time in your life that you have made solid sense. I'm surprised. I mean, it's pretty amazing. 
considering this has to do with my happiness, yes. So this one makes you happy? Like you didn't know? Why then do you always torment the young man? He pissed me off. He pissed me off real bad. I just... I needed to make him understand that he shouldn't mess with me like that again. The young man is losing his sleeps. And I know you are too. So do what's necessary and save all of us from distress. You know, you didn't have to do this whole middleman thing. Before you go bragging, you made me change my mind. Shit. Please make him believe I did. It has to do with my pride. Really? Mm hmm. Or something. You know, this man is a great guy. I mean, he's so great that sometimes I feel like I don't deserve him. Okay. And I have you, my naughty brother, to thank for it. Beautiful nonsense. <laughs> I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Whatever thing you lay your hands shall prosper. Everywhere you go, men and women shall fall on the sense of every you. Increase on every side. Everywhere you go, men and women shall fall on the sense to favor you. Increase on every side. In the name of Jesus. Do you know who I am? I'm your officer. How dare you? Do you even know why my people made me their king? Their very first king? Ramsa, please. Put down the gun. Oh, you must be bold indeed. Very bold. Whatever that troubles you, the good Lord Jesus Christ, is ready to set you free. I don't know what your problem is, but Jesus can set you free. All you need is to open your heart to Him. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, Come to me, O ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will set you free. Pray for me. Pray for me. I am a troubled man. Pray for me, please. I, I have all it takes to have a good life. A happy life. But that eludes me. It's okay. My heart is troubled. It's okay. Pray for me. Pray for me. Jesus will set you free. Jesus will set you free. Just believe. Whatever it is, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I keep seeing this vision. He always comes to destroy me, but ends up crying at my feet. I just saw it now. He is always in an army uniform, but wears a royal cap. I believe that represents those offices, the army and royalty. They are in their need of God's intervention. It could be an individual, it could be a group. It's not clear to me now. For that reason, we will embark on a seven day fasting and prayers for all the army officers and royal families in this country. Yes, Do you hear me? Yes, 
I believe that the good Lord will one day show to us all we need to know. But that can only come through prayers. Let us go back to our prayers. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. that they reveal this vision to us. Clear, clear. <laughs> clear, clear. <laughs> wow. Should I not be named the happiest king living? See, my children, especially my son, coming with my woman that he hates. Hates. Make that hatred. It's all that. It's all in the past now. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Yep. I've been observing them silently for days now. Does it mean so much to you, seeing I and Claire together? Oh, it certainly does. <laughs> <laughs> so what will happen if I propose to her? What? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a joke. <laughs> I would have made use of my AK-47 right away. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't want a happy family? You deserve it, darling. <laughs> I always knew that I and I would come around. Well, and here we are. I strongly believe that my son has now grown into a responsible and mature young man. One who is growing some growing soon. Exactly. I think I should start grooming him to come after me as king. With his state of mind now, I'm sure he will win in that direction. In well, Dad, that can only happen on one condition. You need to add beautiful maidens to the package. Oh, don't worry, we're just beginning. Ubuduku is just starting. By the time we grow into a kingdom, and then by the time I become the chairman of the Council of Traditional Rulers, I'm going to certainly add that to the package, like you said. <laughs> <laughs> Others have about the military. I'm very wrong. We believe you hold that wrong impression out of ignorance. Military officers are actually very disciplined and organized people. <laughs> oh, here she comes to cut our great conversation short. Daddy, I can go back if you want me to. Oh, no, 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 no. In as much as he loves my company, I bet he loves yours more. <laughs> go ahead and have some fun. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Are you sure you want to come with me? Oh, come on, don't ask him that kind of question. Oh. You're going to put him in a fix. Oh, <laughs> it's an honor spending some quality time with you, sir. <laughs> it's okay, son. Anytime. Right, thank you, sir. Ladies, what's it? Good afternoon, guys. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You know, my father really likes you. Everybody loves me. Yes. <laughs> Is someone being proud? I prove it to you. You like me. The prince likes me. Mm -hmm. The king likes me. Lady Claire likes me. It's not my fault. You step away from my family for one second and tell me who else likes you. <laughs> That's to show you that my heart is buried somewhere in this house. Huh. I like the sound of that. I love you, baby. <laughs> I love you too. No, I love you more. No, I love you most, 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 most. Okay, I get it. <laughs> you win. Onyama, Onyama, Onyama. 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 Onyama, Onyama.
ይገለ ሐፍሶ አሜን ደስሞን እዘ ግድማ ፊላስ ሚ ሄይ ሰክሲ ሄይ ስማሪ ፊዚቲ ሄይ ስማሪ ፊዚቲ He's everything and more. And so what do you mean when you say he poses a threat? He loves you, no doubt. Mm-hmm. He respects your privacy, no that's doubt. Right, that's right. But he's a big distraction to the talent. Yes, he is. I don't see how though. I mean, not once has my relationship with Desmond ever clashed with my mission. I have planned everything out in such a way that the time I spend with him does not in any way get in the way of my work and all that I'm required to do. He still remains in the distraction. I have been very obedient faithful and loyal to the sister do i not deserve to be happy when i carry out my duties for the sister since then do don't even bring in sentiment here because it won't help us in any way it won't at all please don't been with different men. But with this one, it feels different. Maybe that's why this is not the right man for you. Nothing must come between your alliance and the sisterhood. It's your life. Your mother fell Lady Power. You and your brother at the prices she paid princess i want you to be happy but you must first safeguard the mission as if it's your life in actual sense it's your life even if it will take you for fitting your love life what you must do it My lady. Stop, Claire. She can still speak for herself. My lady, you never had a problem with my sexual relationships. We are free to have sexual knowledge with as many men as we want. Even with those that will ruin you, this one cannot ruin me. I say it, Claire. I do not waste my time on things that are not important. Desmond loves me. In fact, he worships me. He will ruin you when I sent you all on. In time. That boy, in time, will distract you. And I will not stand it! That in secrets is women that rule the world. The world of power, the world of power, the ocean beneath, from where power rules the world. We worship you, O Queen, Queen of the deepest waters, the Queen, Queen of, of the brightest sparkles, sparkles, the giver of wealth and power. May your domineering charm be controllers of the nation's wealth. We shall continue to suck the wealth of the nations through our various established channels until everything is turned to us. The wealth of the world is ours. 
We are the world, and we must multiply. I wish I could. But it keeps coming to me. Reverend, you're a man of vision. You see a lot of visions. And I take my vision seriously. You know that already. So, what do you intend doing? Set out in search of this unknown man? I'm confused. I see two personalities in this man. An army officer and a king. And as we speak, he has been cajoled into paying a check for 10 million naira to an evil coven of demonic and greedy women. And they have been making him pay this every other month. How do I locate and help him? I, I, I think you're doing that already by praying for him. You're doing that already. Yes. I just wish the good Lord will open my eyes more to what I'm required to do. See, Andy, some of them could be so mean and heartless. How we do with God's help? Reverend, don't worry. I'm with you on this. Okay? Thank you. Yes. All, all we have to do is to keep praying for them and for our country, Nigeria. Okay? Thank you so much, Mother. You're welcome. I appreciate you. You are indeed my pillar of support. Mm, I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A woman of God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Lady Clara, are you confirming to me that you have left the sisterhood? It was Theodore Roosevelt that said, and I quote, it is not having been in the dark house, but having left it a cow. Automatically, you're referring to the sisterhood as a dark house. Deep down inside of you, you know that that is what it is exactly. How you bother to ask yourself what Madame Polo does with the money we gather for her? A medical doctor of your caliber. With all the degrees you've acquired, how come you don't ask questions? Lady Clara. I've had enough. Leave my office. Of course I will leave. But that's right after I've delivered the very message that brought me here in the first place. What useless message could that be? You know, I came to you because as a medical doctor, you should have some level of intelligence to be able to read me. Right? I want you to talk to Sabina. As far as Lynn is concerned, both of you are one and the same. The only difference is that you have left, but she's still with us. And I want her to leave too. You see, she's already complaining that Madame Paul does not accord her the respect she's due in your sisterhood. That's why I want her to leave. And I want you to leave too. Leave to where? They are powers, and they are powers. Yes, I know big power may be powerful, but not everything. Talk to Selena and come with me. You will discover something different. Is anything wrong? Um, the company.
always said that I suffer from financial setback. So they had to lay off some staff. Oh, you got laid off? Something like that. Honestly speaking, that I never saw this coming. How could they lay me off? <laughs> That's because they see you as useless. Why will you stop going one step forward and ten steps backward? Now this is a beautiful nonsense. I never saw it coming. Is it that serious? You just got kicked out. Of course, yes, it is serious. Another beautiful nonsense. How can you? A son of a king, a prince. No, 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 that this is a beautiful nonsense. Tell me, how, how do you manage a song like me? I'm asking myself the same question all the time. Anyway, there is nothing new. Maybe the time has come for my son to begin to think. Maybe the throne is actually where you belong after all. Hello. Another beautiful nonsense. Give me a break, Dad. What's it? I'm still chipping your kingship, throne, blah blah blah, each time we talk. I'm not interested. I don't belong there. I'm not even looking forward for that. Anyway, I know why you are thinking and talking like this. Don't worry. Very soon, kingship in Obodoku will become very attractive. The Prime Minister is working on that. And like I said to you, very soon, I will become the chairman of the Council of Traditional Rulers in the state. And you will see how I will do it. Another beautiful nonsense. That will only give me the opportunity to revisit my dream, which is establishing my own company. Now listen to me. As my only son, I need you to answer me. When will you begin to think straight? Uh, uh, come on, Dad. You see that serious? I can't remember using any foul language on you, like F1, bullshit. So why the sudden change? What a beautiful nonsense. Excuse me, Dad. He's a very special person and um, I am meeting him on Sunday. So? Why are you telling me? Um, I want you to come with me. <laughs> Just one. Last time I checked, you had no friends aside my brother Ahana. All of a sudden you have this friend that you need me to join you to visit. Um, well, <clears throat> he's been there. I that he's a very busy person and uh, moreover, I thought it's high time you met the special people in my life or... Don't you trust me? Don't even try to entice me. You know how I love to rest on Sundays. Baby, listen, I know. Sundays are equally very hectic for me. But I just want you to come with me, please. Listen, who is this friend of yours? This friend that makes you want to discomfort me so badly just so you can please him. Baby, please. Don't start now. It's not fair. Please. Don't make me feel bad. Alright. <laughs> I will meet with him. But on my terms. Whatever. Anything. Anytime.
gradually losing my glory. I still deserve little respect, Lynn. I hate to hear you say so much about yourself. I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. Please, sister. Why am I here? You can have anything. It's on me. The bill is on me. I wasn't hoping to come here and get drunk. Lynn, there are so many things going wrong now. And I'm hoping to start tackling them my own way. I'm certain you already know about it. So, if that is why you shadowed this meeting. Let's get down to it. Because alcohol is in the least of my worries. We are now one. A general. Mercury. You and I. I take your children as mine. What have I not done for that traveler who calls himself my son? What do you expect others who look up to us to think? Honey, honestly, I don't think it's his fault. No, it's mine. It's my fault! The company is undergoing a difficult financial crisis. It's not really his fault. No, like I said, it's my fault then. Listen, some other responsible colleagues of his are still working there. They are making a living and gathering experiences. Honestly, one thing you must understand is that these experiences are what you require if you have to win an election to be the ruler of Okotoko Kingdom. That is what I am talking about. But my son is not getting it. You have put all your trust on him. From you just started ruling the Google. And from the information I gathered, the kinship is traditional. We're not even sure that you'll be the next king after you. Only why not set him up? Make him his own boss. He will still gather the same experiences that you want him to get. That's what I think. A man who cannot work for another can certainly not work for himself. Never. What I'm saying is that he has an option. He should go and get himself another job. Or come back home and work with me. Let me in the way of the kings. Now listen, Claire. I would not want to be disturbed about this anymore. Please. Come on. You're being too hard on him. Okay? It will be alright. Are you ready? Uh, okay, okay, it's okay. Then I should be on my way. That would have done to your mission if he had taken you to see the praying boy? Or do you still doubt that he's the same special friend who was going to take you to? Everything is about this goddamn mission! This man is running the streets endlessly, mad, because of the same mission! Ah! Oh, princess, do not lose your peace. You can't talk to our lady in that manner. that past the mission. Nothing stands in the way. Nothing! What have you done? I take down anything that stands in the way of me and my wealth. By the time she regains consciousness, she will remember nothing about that whole destiny. 
Now take her home and do all that is required to bring me the wealth of the general. Mr. Prime Minister, it is not about holding a meeting with them, but about holding an effective meeting with those people. It is all boiling down to what I said initially. We would have gotten a better offer with another company. Yes. I personally recommended Black Blue Consumption, but it was torn down on the process. But it the red. this is not what we should be discussing here. We should be discussing how we are going to manage the choice we have already made. Because we have already made a choice. Yes, agreed. We have already made a choice. But we can as well remind ourselves of the mistakes we made in the process. Of course. Oh, Mr. Paulson, I am totally disappointed in what you are saying. Is this how you plan to rule Oboduku Kingdom with me? Anyway, we already recommended and decided to use surplus constructions because they are the best. We can already see the progress they are making with the ultra-modern town hall that they are building. Let us arrange and fix a meeting with those people and I want to be present at that meeting. Is that clear? Well, he has been like that since he got laid off. And we are all very worried. Oh my goodness. I was wondering why we have not spoken for you a while. I'm, I've been calling and he's not taking my calls. Well, that is why I sent for you. I know how much he loves you. And I know that you can help bring him out of this mood. Are you sure it's the right thing to do? Because he has not told me about having any problems. But I told you, didn't I? And sincerely, that should be good enough. Do you even have to think about this? I thought you loved my brother. Yes, of course, my princess. I love Anna very, very much. But, okay, fine. I will talk to him in a way. Good. You say he's wrong? You say he's wrong? Guanumo! 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 Biko Guanumo! What is the meaning of this? Huh? Are you under the illusion that you are now a cardinal part of my life that you can barge into me anytime without my consent? Are you sick? What's the meaning of this? What's wrong with you, Hannah? This is Injideka, your girl. Oh, this is Injideka, my girl. Does that give you a free visa to my privacy without my consent? Why would you budge on me like this? You know what? Undress yourself from hair to toe and lie down here. What? I should do what? Are you deaf? I said, undress yourself and lie down here. Do it your own way because if I do it my own way, you won't like it. You are not serious. I'm not serious. I told you it was a bad idea. But we tried our best. Trying and failing is not in my diary at all. If we had gone my way, it wouldn't have been like this. I don't think there's any problem. He has decided to use surplus construction company. All we need now is to work with what is available. Wait, wait. Even about, did you say surplus? Yes. Construction company. To work with surplus? Ha! Ah. After we have tried openly to snatch the contract away from them. Huh? Then what do you suggest? That we lay back for a while? The king is still here. We have enough time with him. So if I'm to suggest, I will say 
we should go back and replan. Let us plan some better ways of getting what we want from him. That is my suggestion. But if it is as for the building contract, we might have lost it forever. <laughs> Laying back and planning well is not a bad idea. Then let's go that way, if it's okay by me. <laughs> Honestly, I appreciate your coming. I never knew you were this generous. Oh, come on, Claire. <laughs> Don't flatter me. I am amazed. <laughs> Those are our investment. I'll surely read back. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the show you put up today was so nice. Mm. And by evening, the news will be everywhere on every national paper and on the TV. <laughs> and the news will go to us. The children of Puel Orphanage Home mm. had their Christmas in September mm. Mm. as Madam Selina Ibe, mm. the CEO of VP Resources, paid them a generous visit. Yes, <laughs> and the news will continue mm -hmm. that the director of the orphanage, Lady Claire, was personally present to receive this gorgeous prestigious visitor that's how we <laughs> fly girl helping each other to be known ah, of course my dear i am so amazed it is true i've not been particularly close to you but from what you have done i can say that you have a wonderful heart Mention it, my dear. <laughs> Sisters are supposed to be close. Mm. It is never too late to start. So tell me, what do you say to dinner tomorrow? Because I'll be hosting some dignitaries at my house and you're invited. <laughs> That's okay, I'm amazed. Oh, great! Thank you. Give me hold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay then. Okay. See you See around. Later. Yeah. Take care Cheers. of you. Cheers. Thanks very much. Yeah, baby. Bye. Bye. One down. See you around, Claire. Deep secrets, very deep, very deep secrets. If any let me get a chun de madola, if a do me me. Can it chun the madola? Deep secret. The event was so big, if and it was covered by surplus television. Wow! You mean <laughs> surplus television covered the event? Hmm. You don't know what you missed. Oh. <laughs> so who is this woman? This woman is a god sent to the mm. orphanage, and she said. She she wants to be the major benefactor. Excuse me. I am the major benefactor of this orphanage. <laughs> and I don't even get that kind of publicity. She beats you to eat. <laughs> She's contesting for a federal post. And she needs all the publicity she can get. Oh, nonsense. For crying out loud, you know I'm a retired military officer. Mm -hmm. And I don't like these politicians and their antics. <laughs> Go and tell the woman that she cannot use my orphanage for that. Okay? <laughs> I remain the sole benefactor of 
He's just where I want him. I can sense this excitement all the way from my room. What's happening? I was just telling your father about um, Mother Selena's visit to the orphanage. And at Selena? Mm -hmm. Was at the orphanage? Mm -hmm. Now what? Was I ever going to know about this? Of course. It was not planned. She called to know if I was in the office. Three hours later, I saw her walking with the press and several gifts items. She's not there. I don't think so. You, of all people, should know that she's only putting up a show. A show for the public. It's not what you think. We sisters put up this humanitarian show to impress the public. We cover our shady deals with shows. She is cunning. And there is something about her that I don't quite understand yet. Princess. We need all the help we can get to help us achieve this mission faster. And she promised to give you this help. We can use her. What she did in the orphanage is a starting point. At least now that your father knows that someone else is interested in the affairs of the orphanage. What do you think he would do? Exactly. You know that your father hates competition. I can feel that he's already uncomfortable that a woman, not even a man, wants to be the sole benefactor. He's working for our own good. Luck is on our side. It will help us achieve this mission faster. Trust me. I hope things work out the way you have imagined it. Mm. It will. I'm on top of it. It will. We should be glad. Did you just say that? Jideka. What happened to him, Jideka? Oh, then we should not pretend like everything is alright. And then we should be glad about it. That brute almost raped that girl in, that, in this house. The same house you call the Palace of Ubuduku Kingdom. The Prime Minister and Benny Council witnessed it. They were there! They were there! Hey! And you have the guts to come in here and show your face? Quiet. Do you know? Shut up! When the terror is talking, keep quiet. Do you know what would have happened to you if that girl went to the police? Do you know what you would have cost me? The kingship! Why are you trying to make a case when there is no one? Oh, really? Yes. Come on. The girl in question is my girl. So why would anyone say I wanted to rape her? Why? You are a disappointment. A big disgrace, that's what you are. Same old story. Say something new. Come on, Dad. I came to you one week ago and asked for little money just to establish myself. What did you say? You called me all sort of names. Foolish man, inexperienced, blah, 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 blah. Ah, what are you trying to say? Was that the reason why you molested an innocent girl? Are you supposed to be talking? You self-centered woman. Ahana. All you do is suck him dry. You keep collecting from him, collecting from him, collecting from him. 
let me ask you a question when was the last time you advised him to give me little money so i can establish myself when listen you're not supposed to talk men are talking oh shut up you're a disappointment get out of my face don't bring out the best in me get out beautiful nonsense beautiful nonsense Blow this in here. Princess Oledo, why are you not concerned? Am I supposed to be concerned? I mean, your friend is mad, so? My friend, who is also your man, Desmond. You guys have been together for some time now, remember? <laughs> what? Who is Desmond? Princess Oledo, if you are trying to joke, this joke is expensive. Your man, Desmond, is mad. He's roaming about the street. Do you know what it even means for someone to be mad like crazy? Of course I know what it means, dumbhead. But if you have to tell me I was dating a madman over and over again, then I think your sanity is questionable right now. Beautiful nonsense. <laughs> Don't tell me nothing because you know nothing. Um, you did, I did not deserve that from you. And you cannot blame your actions on anybody. Oh yeah? Princess Oledo, look into my eyes and tell me what you see. I'm confused and frustrated. The same man I called my dad abandoned me. This same man is throwing money round town. Ahana. He's trying to develop this town, town that has been handed into your hands. No. He feels more comfortable spending money on other people's children than his own. Ahana, that he has refused to establish that business for you doesn't mean that he doesn't care. I told you I want your help, didn't I? What you did was wrong. Blame it on dad. I'm confused and frustrated. You can see how stupid you sound right now. And your dad is not taking this lightly at all. And I fear for what he might do. And what was his condition when you met him? Exactly how he is now. We just had to bring him here. They called me at around 4 p.m. that he was coming to church to see me. Jesus. <laughs> You daughter of Jezebel, like you know you don't belong to this body. Why are you occupying me? Speak now! His body is the temple of light. And you darkness has no place in it. You know that light and darkness has nothing in common. Speak now! It, it's life! Yes! It went to the vessel of darkness! The by obstructing the walks of darkness! <laughs> How will you see him as a tool? Never! Uh, yes! I can never! How will you see him as a tool for as long? As long as I want! Never! Shut up! How dare you speak when the son of the Lamb speaks? Revolution that I hate Revolution! You are too small! I said shut up! You are too small! Jesus! We will embark on the river section 
Pogiemy. Wybuch Sondra i pomoda. Wybuch Sondra i pomoda. Wybuch Sondra. Wybuch Sondra. Wybuch Sondra. Wybuch When two powers collide, the lesser power will subdue. Yes. The lesser power will bow. Yes. No. 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 Yes. No.
here. Her actions will cause problems for you. For Claire. And for your sisterhood. Better still, if you shut down this often, is that all you want to happen? All these are the things you want to happen? Why are you challenging Madame Oil? Why? I gave you a vivid explanation the last time I was here. Why haven't you considered? Okay, I don't get it. Why are you unhappy about this? You kept it away from me. Is it fair? Who? Oh, then he asked after meeting you kept private. And for good reason. I had to respect that. You didn't even know her. I introduced her to you. And you decided to have a meeting with her without even telling me. Listen, uh, uh, um, what is this privacy you're talking about? Listen, Claire. I am at liberty to make decisions in my house about my own affairs. I don't want to believe that you're taking my goodness for granted. How? I didn't get you. I chose you to be with me in this house because of the maturity and goodness you exhibited when my wife was alive. Don't make me regret that decision. Why do you cry? You're supposed to be a very strong woman. I saw that trait in you before I handed a very massive mission to you. My lady, a sister is not supposed to betray a sister. She did something to him. The general I'm living with now is not the same general we all knew. Selena is desperate. But you are strong. However, you are my beloved. And I will not let anyone make you suffer. Yes, Madam Selina, I was able to take a quick decision on the proposal. That kind of proposal is not the type to be turned down. Exactly. So, tell me, how do you plan it out? Simple, Your Highness. I will come in and take over. I have all it takes to help you get all the financial benefits such organizations get from foreign bodies. You mentioned this the last time, and you should know that I'm not looking for any international door to run my thing. I can do it all alone. Come on, my king. Don't talk like that. Even nations need donuts. As we speak, I've already made contact with some foreign bodies. They love the prospect and are waiting for our decisions to bring them in. Mm -hmm. Sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. Actually true. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> You're wonderful. Oh, keep mentioning it. But remember that I have to take over. I can't be effective when another is at the top. So? You will have to explain that to your woman. Claire uh, wants the best for the orphanage. Mm -hmm. So I don't see her having any problem with that. Alright. My lady, can you see that? She's with him now. She's advancing. Her intentions may be good. She might make more money for the orphanage through her foreign benefactors. No. My lady, you can't do this to me. This mission is my life. It's my life. <laughs> it has always been all about the Benjamin. <laughs> I stand with the one that brings me more money. I will do anything. My lady, I will work harder. I will do anything. I want more money, certainly, but not from Selena. 
She is trying to impress me. But not when she stands on the way of the one that pleases my heart. Selena will have to find another way to impress me. Now go back to your mansion and complete your mission. Be different ladies to that man. Reinvent your old self. You can do it. You can get him back. It all depends on you. Go. What? Why can't you put her away? Then the day is off. Young woman, do you need to be reminded that you don't raise your voice at me when you speak to me? I am not only a king. I am a general. Apologies, my general and my king. But... If this is how you turn around, then it means an end for the connections that will fetch you billions. Oh, nothing. I was just ending a meeting with Madame Selina. Right, Madame Selina? You need to think about this critically. Think about what you stand to gain or lose, as the case may be. Woman, you will find your way out of this, please, now. Let me give you an information. Let that deal end before it even starts. Your Highness, billions of Naira. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you want it to go down the drain. Billions of Naira. No. My father will do no such thing. Dad, what is she talking about? No, it is nothing. Well then, the king says, leave. Would you need help to do that? Come on, chicken. Don't meddle. Did you hear the amount of money she mentioned? Oh, as far as I know, she's a front star. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to put a call to the IG for the police to take her away. I have not been given opportunity to show what I can do. You are weak, Selena. You cannot handle real projects. You failed at the little I tested you. If anything, you should be grateful to me. That I make you wish for what I Give me another chance, my lady. Another chance at real missions. Not until I am done testing your capabilities. But until then, do not try to cause this area in any of my missions again. Not the way you try to clear. I may not be this merciful next time. the picture with this useless idea of following to a new order. You've succeeded in sowing an evil seed in Selena. And what do you mean by evil seed? Are you trying to make me believe that you're not as intelligent as I've always thought you are? Clara, I don't intend to join issues with you. Selena has refused to pick my calls. And you claim not to know why? Why are you supporting Madame Powell in taking my sister for a ride? You know she has paid her dues in that sisterhood. And she deserves more than she's getting. I should not been telling you. I've always thought that her time will come. Please advise your sister to lay back. Let her try and do something possible to win back Powell's trust. And if she fails? But I'm all will kill her. Not minding the fact that she has made so much sacrifice for the sisterhood. You can never tell what will happen. Madame Paul is a spirit being. And you cannot predict what will happen. Advise your sister to be very careful. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, but honestly, I don't understand. The last thing I remembered was calling to tell you I was coming with my fiancée on a, on a fateful Sunday. 
please tell me what really happened. <coughs> A lot this month. A lot happened. And um, we will not discuss all that today. Okay? But you must stay away from your fiancé. Did you hear me? Stay away from, from my fiancé? Yes. Why? You see, I was not mistaken when I asked to see her. This month, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14, Be ye not unequally yoked with the unbelievers. You see, I always advise believers in the church to date and marry believers. You are a dedicated member in this church. How did you allow this to happen to you? Robin, you're not telling me anything. Talk to me now. What happened? I don't understand you. She belongs to a deadly secret society. She is greatly possessed by an evil spirit. What? Oh my God. Your presence in her life was messing things up for them. Yes. Hey. That's why they tried to stop you in their own way. Oh, 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 please, oh, 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 please, tell me, am I okay? Eh, oh, please, just wait for me now. Am I okay? Eh? It's okay. Eh, oh, am I okay? To the glory of the Lord, you are. Amen. Amen. Pray for me. But now. you must stay away from her for now. Did you hear me? Yes, yes. It's yes. well with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I pray to you, nothing will happen to you. Amen. Amen. Youthfulness walking on that boy. He is your son. And he will always be your son, your highness. Then I must have been senseless. Stupid, foolish. I'm a complete idiot for my son to have turned out that. What about all lady? They are twins, remember? Doesn't she behave well? Your highness, they are your children. You shouldn't allow you get to you the way it's going right now. Please. I need to see Dr. Austin. Dr. Austin? Are you not feeling fine? Is your BP rising? There are puzzles in my head right now. Oh. Maybe a DNA test will help solve some of them. Uh, Deep secrets Very deep, very deep secrets If you me, let me My lady, you cannot be reluctant about this. You have to stop him. The king can go on with his plans. My lady, we don't need this right now. The king will be distracted. And how does that stop us? You are not really bothered. I do not waste my time and powers on matters that are not important. If the king wishes to get a DNA test because Ahana misbehaves, then let him do so. My only interest is that at the end of the day, I get him to sign his will to my orphanage. Uh, but my lady... Stop, sir. Go back. To your work and quit running to me all the time i have given you all the powers you need go Oh. 
Christine. Oh. I miss her right now. I wish she could come back here. I wish I could resurrect her. I understand exactly how you feel. I want her to come back here alive so that I can kill her myself. I want to end that old life with my own hands. She imposed those bastards on me. I was a fool, Claire. I was her fool for more than two decades. Not like this. Not like this. I have no child. Do you even understand that? My people trusted in me. They still trust me. And that's why they elected me the first king of Opodoku land. But look at me. I have no son. I want her alive. So that I can ask her why she made me father to another man's children. Then I will send her back to hell. No child. What she did is a crime in common law. And a huge abomination in the law of traditional laws of Igbo land in Nigeria. It's okay. No child. Thank you.